Welcome back to another tutorial. Um, previous versions I've been working on this uh, tool to make the, the train much faster to lift up and down which has been great um, but one thing that's been a bit lacking has been the ability to, to uh, manipulate these points individually. If I wanted to manipulate that I could turn that off and then do an up and down but it's a little bit painful so we've got a new tool here uh, to edit the points and um, that brings us up with this kind of interface and then we can simply lasso the points we want and lift them up and down um, which is pretty cool um, I've added a few features here which uh, aren't uh, apparent when you first look but the the um, yellow dots sort of fade out in the distance so you can't actually accidentally select anything over there um, best anyway to, to select by looking downwards on the, the track and, and looking at at them in that kind of fashion rather than selecting like this and getting all those ones in the background. They do stand out a lot when you zoom back all that's left is the, the red ones there so you kind of know what you've got selected um, if you if you do zoom back. Um, there's a couple of features that I've added with um, selecting so if you hold shift down like the other uh, operations that are already there it'll uh, add add to the um, selected dots um, and we can do that multiple times if you don't hold shift down and just lasso again um, it, it just grabs a new section obviously you've got to be careful where you're going to lasso because um, if you're on a dot when you go to lasso it'll just start the movement um, something else which I thought um, I'd add into all of the modes um, where applicable is to hold the D key for deselect so you can press D do a lasso like this and deselect those points uh, so that's handy as well I guess um, so I'll just lasso all of this section here so we've got a, a good selection of points and I'll just talk about a couple of other features that we've got um, one is these different modes and they're very similar to the cross sections of the track so at the moment when I lift this whole section up if I just grab an end point here and lift up they're all lifting up by the same amount um, so that's a, a linear lift um, no, sorry a straight lift full strength the next one along is a linear lift where these ones further away won't be lifted at all or very marginally and those nearer to the point you grab uh, will lift the most. So if I grab in the middle there, it bends. Um, and then we've got the curve, which just curves like that. Uh, I'll undo that. And the last one is very similar to that, except it, it uses a slightly different shape to do the curve. So if I just grab here, you notice it curves more gently to begin with here and then more abruptly in the middle. Um, so there are four different types of um, grabs that you can do and um, another feature that I've added for a number of these tools is this little lock track nodes so at the moment I'll just switch back to full strength there at the moment when we grab you notice that it's lifting the whole track up as well because the nodes at the track are, are lifting they're sitting on the terrain and if you lift the terrain up um, it also uh, lifts the the nodes of the track. So if I undo that and just turn that on, so it's going to lock those nodes now. So if we lift this up, you notice the, the road's still sitting way down there. Um, so that's done intentionally. Now I, I've been rather dramatic there. You probably won't use it like that. You might use these tools, and, and sometimes when you're using these, you don't want to lift the, the nodes of the track. You're happy with the track and the layout, and you don't want to accidentally run over a node. Uh, where the, the track lays. Um, so that's a, a handy tool. Um, and um, yeah, so the other thing you can do here is also turn tracks off. So if you're just editing with this points tool and you just want to see uh, what's going on there without the distraction of having the track in there, because it can be a little bit distracting when you, you can't really work out what triangle you're editing there, um, you can turn that track off. So obviously if you're in edit track mode they come back on automatically. Um, so that's um, most of the terrain editing features. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm 
adding with this next version which is 1.5.2 and I'm going to put that into beta tonight so by the time you see this video it's there already if you want to join in hit the forums uh, that's the steam forums and uh, hopefully you can give us some feedback on how it's working for you thanks for watching